our bands that we had to postpone the show, um, it's um, they're making masks, so we've been ordering you know masks from them. They, everyone's kind of figuring out a side hustle, but um, just trying to continue to support each other. Our bartenders are doing some random stuff, so we'll continue to try to support them and be a part of the community. Micah Wheat, Asheville Music Hall and the One Stop General Manager. Sarah Landon, the Marketing Director. First and foremost, we definitely missed everybody. <laughs> um, miss seeing everyone just in the club gathering for live music. That's been that's been really hard, and and uh, yeah, we definitely miss everyone in our community. Um, a really positive thing that has come out of this is just the community coming together to really support one another and we've really felt that um, as I mentioned I'm the marketing director so I see a lot on social media but we've been sharing projects that we're doing um, with everybody and everyone's been very you know their comments and likes have been so supportive. So this has impacted us uh, tremendously I mean it's dead stop in the water uh, first week of March so loss of revenue for the business loss of uh, programming and opportunities for the artists that we worked with uh, creating events for the community as an, an escapism um, and, and direct obviously compensation for our staff and employees and service providers here so financially that's that's number one it's just an, an all stop on that so. Yeah, uh, most of our staff is is you know bartenders and security and sound engineers, lighting engineers. So you know, without a show, those those four t jobs are you know hard to hard to hard to fill. But um, everyone's been you know trying to work together. We've been able to do some like side tasks, and our staff has been really awesome coming in and helping out, clean the venue, do some repairs that we haven't gotten a chance to do in a really long time. And, and as musicians who we work with all the time, so we consider them kind of a part of our workforce, you know, there's a bunch of local musicians that are coming up with fun things to do, like Empire Strikes Grass, they're like mowing lawns instead of Empire Strikes Brass. So, you know, we've, we've been trying to support each other, hiring them, sharing their stuff. Uh, we have Metallica booked, uh, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we, yeah, will, we will announce our shows as we get closer. Uh, we don't uh, quite have the confidence just yet to, to announce those dates as everything is still very fluid. But obviously with all the new cleaning procedures and sanitization procedures rolling out with that, uh, a lot of venue things still need to happen and projects that we're wrapping up. Uh, and then slowly interdepartmentally training to all those policies and procedures for our staff. Uh, so this gives us more lead time to practice those things, to dial in our best practices, uh, to really still follow the news uh, and Governor Cooper's uh, information on what's best, on what the best date will be. So, But we're aiming for that, uh, and that will be both floors most likely. Again, things always change, but uh, uh, we feel we can safely do that with half capacity with both floors, uh, offering our, our programming that was... Uh, that's, that's been known for us to, to offer some, some great shows, both locally, regionally, and, and we've got a lot of tricks up our sleeve too that we are excited to announce.